cities just got hit. It's chaos. And the intel we've got is shaky at best. These are dark days, Commander. Don't worry, sir. We're here to light shit up. Can I trust you? I'll take that as a yes. You got pretty cooked in the crash. 
but I recovered some agency intel, combined it with my own. Here's what you need to know. The blackout attacks. Hundreds of cities got hit. Power grids, communications, it all went down. Things got real bad real quick. People were desperate. They left their homes, their lives. Millions of refugees, all looking for a little light in the darkness. And I was one of them. Enakshi. Enakshi Swift. But most people call me Echo. We spent weeks on the water. Low on food, hope. But then... Terranova rescued us and brought us here to New Providence. An island nation founded by Elizabeth Niemand, Terranova's CEO. At first, I thought this place was paradise. But the deeper I looked at Niemand and the rest of her team, they're not what they seem. And I bet you thought the same right before your team got shot out of the sky. Now, it's just you, me, and a city filled with survivors from the Blackout Zones. We can help them rise up, Agent. Rise up and knock Terran over down. expert with agency tech. I got the regen process working, but it reset all your skills. I'll have to level back up. This was the safest place for me to rebuild you. But no place is really safe in New Providence. So I got you this. A welcome gift from the civilian militia. Those glowing green orbs? There's some kind of agency training hologram. Grab them to boost your agility skill. Terranova rescue operation. They've been airlifting refugees for weeks. Welcome, citizens of the world. Welcome to New Providence. Terranova was born from a dream, a vision of brighter tomorrows, a vision powered by human potential. Together, we will forge a bold. We need to shut down the propaganda they're feeding the refugees and the force fields they used to contain them in the Outlands. Best way to do that? Take out the nearby power station. Shut down the power station. You'll open a path to the city gate. This is the place, Agent. Watch out for the guards.
to the top and shut this mother down. Welcome, citizens of the world. Welcome. Huh. It looks like your suit just updated. I'm seeing new jump boosters, unlocked and active. A vision powered by humans. Together, we will forge a bold new future. Together, we are... I've tapped Nova Communications. Spying on them for a change. I'm happy to report, those guards didn't get a chance to call in. We're still off the radar. Those generators or pop them out of the sockets. Wilhelm Berg, a gatekeeper. Berg is our first target. If all goes well, he won't be our last. His official title is Manpower Lieutenant. A fancy term for bastard who preys on the helpless. And he gets away with it because he's got the keys to the city. I marked your crime map with that power station you took down. But Berg has already tapped into a set of backup generators. His main gateway is still locked down. If we're going to get you and the refugees into the city, we've got to take that backup station out. Now that Terra Nova knows you're here, they'll be increasing their defenses. Stay alert. The bridge is open. Let's keep moving. Too many Nova thugs use those guns on the people. Let's see how they like being in your sights. Coming up on an old Nova supply point. Get close, and I'll see if I can reactivate it for you. Alright, the supply point is yours. Check it out. If I'm reading the... It looks like any weapons and equipment you find are automatically added to your inventory. You can access your inventory from supply points.
residents of the Outlands, remember, you are lucky to be here. Don't press that luck. Fall in line or face the repercussions. Did it. I'm tapped into Berg's gateway systems, and he's vulnerable. Now we know where he is. All that's left is taking him out. Personnel, secure the area. No one gets through. No exceptions. Robot warriors. These machines are relentless. No pity, no remorse, no fear. Printing reinforcements. As long as he lives, they'll keep coming for you. The city belongs to Terran, and the gate stays closed to agency assholes. How 
you do that? Berg just teleported. Get after him, Agent. I should thank you for this, Agent. Now you here, and I get to make an example of you in all the worst ways. <laughs> Nothing personal. Enough! Training time is over! of the Outlands. We've helped them into the city. I know we just met, Agent. But I've got to say, we make a damn good team. And we're just getting started. your agent back together after some shitty intel almost got them killed thank you very much stealing agency data is a criminal offense miss swift hey the only criminals i see are wearing terra nova suits and with my help your agent is already bringing them to justice listen up civilian the agency is the world's preeminent crime fighting task force we've been kicking ass since before you were born this time, it's different. When the blackouts hit, even we were blindsided. Then our satellites came back online and found the one major city still glowing in the dark. Five years ago, this place was a desolate spit of land in the ocean. Yes, it's truly inspiring what a greedy, all-powerful corporation can accomplish. It all starts with Elizabeth Neiman. But she's recruited one hell of a team to build her dream. Dick Catala Vargas, head of the industry division. Vargas was a Nobel Prize winning scientist, now in charge of Chimera. The stuff that blacked out the world and left so many of us lost in the darkness. Or how about Kulinagata, the hired muscle handling security? He is a butcher who will do anything to protect company interests, especially if it means spilling other people's blood. Last but not least, Aloise Quist, architect of Terra Nova Logistics, the control freak who designed this entire island and keeps it running like clockwork, at any cost.
Terra Nova is using local monorail stations to direct the flow of human resources. If the refugees end up on those monorail trains, God only knows what will happen to them. Agent, you are in enemy territory with no shortage of viable targets and a clear-cut mission directive. Save the people, save the world. Take down Terra Nova by any means necessary. Agent, now that I'm hooked back into your vitals, I see our friend regen you with a baseline set of skills. You'll need to rebuild yourself if we're going to save the world. Wouldn't all this be easier with a bit more agency assistance? Maybe we'll get lucky and find more survivors, but all other assets are overwhelmed in the blackout zones. So for the time being, you're on your own. Unless we start a revolution. If the locals want to help, great. But my agent is there for one reason, to stop the blackout attacks. This supply point is ours. Hit it whenever you need a reload. Terra Nova manages to keep a lot of good people placated with a message of hope, shitty jobs, and mind-numbing chemicals. Most have settled into this life because, well, they don't see a way out. Not to get all sappy and shit, but you're the way out, Agent. We don't see many refugees at that monorail station, but we should still shut it down just in case. See if you can draw out the AI station master. Yeah. Then put the robotic bastard down. That station master is looking for a fight. Take him out. Our hostile agent has been spotted in the vicinity. Station defenses are activated. Thank you. Enemy sniper has been spotted. Focus on the station master. Greetings, Agency Operative. A polite reminder that your current course of action is in flagrant violation of Terra Nova law. I wondered when Roxy would come out to play. The monorail network on New Providence is run by Roxy, a friendly customer service AI, corrupted by Terra Nova. Every monorail station we take forces Roxy to adjust operations nearby, putting more of their network in our sights. So the more stations you capture, the closer we get to finding and offlining Roxy. Hey, good news. While you were taking that monorail station, I heard from the militia. They reached the refugees before Terra Nova. Good. Then we can focus on dismantling the rest of the enemy's distribution network. But be ready, Agent. They won't make it easy. All right, you found a fragmentation grenade? Looks like pretty standard explosive fare. Hey, 
Okay. I see you're near one of Nova's chemical sites. Part of the toxic industrial network. It needs to go. No bones about it. Grease them, Asian. You ask me, those harvester pits are begging to be clogged, Agent. Taking damage. That is Monkey Moonshine's distribution center. Shipping poison to the people. All the more reason it's got to go. Robot load. They'll hit you with anything they can throw. Be advised, a threat has been detected in your area. Activating basic station defense protocols. Thank you. One step closer to saving the locals. That pulse beam is fierce. Let her rip and cut through the competition.
Give those harvesters something to chew on. That's it, Agent. Overload the harvester. See your crime map is working. Agency techs worked hard to build a tool that not only gives you the lay of the land, but a view of the enemy's operation. Everything you need to tear them apart. Valve is good to go. Take it out. to Nova's chemical chief, an arrogant blowhard named Jaiman Keita. Keita's a genius. Just ask him. An expert in chemical refinement and manipulation. He's also the ultimate gross polluter, poisoning the world to feed Nova's top-secret Chimera experiments. The infrastructure Gator set up is intricate, so each chem site you destroy should put more strain on others nearby. The more sites you shut down, the closer we get to flushing out Jaiman Keita and ending the chemical threat. I'm tapping into the Chem Network's monitoring system, and pressure is already surging through the pipelines. Next facility you hit should be ripe to pop. It'll also be better defended. Brace for more fun. The more you damage Terranova's chemical infrastructure, the less Chimera they can process. 
The less they process, the more pressure on their chain of command. Meaning, you weaken their operations, you start eliminating players from the board. 